Hey, what's going on there, folks? Earthmaster here, checking in uh, January 7th, 2020, about 11.40 a.m. My time here along the West Coast in California. And I'll tell you what, folks, we got a large uptick in uh, large earthquakes over the last 24 hours or so. Uh, latest earthquake being this uh, six-pointer. I believe it was six points here. Um, uh, kind of near Indonesia. I'm going to drop this map real quick and bring back up the earthquake 3D globe. Show you guys a 6.0 earthquake. The latest large earthquake to strike out here. I know uh, yesterday, we should say last night, they had a 6.2 further west of the Indonesia Islands area here. That was followed up by the large earthquake in Puerto Rico. The uh, significant size quake down there shaking the area last night, uh, early, early this morning, about 1. 1 a.m., 2 a.m. my time here. Um, so some definitely uh, significant movement down there in the Puerto Rico area. I don't know if they're finished yet. Uh, that was a 6.5 when I did the update video. Looks like they downgraded it to a 6.4 there in the Puerto Rico area where it uh, caused some significant uh, damage and also some widespread uh, blackouts there with uh, the electricity grid. Uh, and it looks like uh, recent aftershock activity in the mid uh, five in the mid five range. Uh, a lot of fours popping up in there as well, and I'm sure many many others uh, being reported um, under that magnitude there. So um, we're still keeping an eye on it. Latest movement in that area looks like it may be headed towards the west there with a 5.2, kind of down towards the Central America region. West Coast remains relatively quiet out here, um, but it's, uh, I tell you what, it's definitely been an interesting 24 hours, let me tell you. Let's see how many earthquakes we've had in the 6 range uh, just over the last couple days here. Hold on a second here. I'll go ahead and include 5.6 on those. So looking back over the last about two days or so uh, the majority of earthquake activity staying away from the west coast but uh, it's a significant number to see some a lot of sixes like this I'm pretty sure one there's another one out here too I'm not for sure exactly where it went um, unless the USGS dropped it uh, let me check here interesting okay I'll have to check back into that but uh either way folks a very active day in the earthquake world and uh, i just don't think it's over yet Hold on a second here bring back these magnitudes to 2.5 and above over the last 24 hours of activity now showing on the globe i mean check out all that and that's just the last 24 hours of uh, earthquake activity in Puerto Rico. That's simply amazing. If we go back a couple more days when that 5.8 struck, uh, there's even just a huge, a huge number of, of quakes there in that region. Let me see if I can uh, get this other map here. Maybe we can check it out a little bit more closer in detail here. So yeah, I was I was up pretty early uh, this morning doing that uh, update video. I was half asleep when I made the video, unfortunately. Let's see here. I'm trying to get this thing set up properly, but uh, for some reason it's not wanting to work. But uh, that's okay. So here's a one day magnitude 2.5 and above from the USGS. Um, I did or was going to add the uh, EMSC website onto the globe. I did that for a little while uh, and then just took it down earlier this morning to uh, just include the USGS on the globe itself. Um, but taking a look here at this map here, all the earthquake activity in the Puerto Rico region, uh, pretty, pretty significant down there, let me tell you. Uh, let's see, what do we got here? 42 earthquakes just uh, for one day. <clears throat> and uh, the relatively all within the same vicinity here it looks like about uh, about five miles or so spread apart um, so I really I mean there's a little bit of migration shown up there but uh, 
they're all relatively within the same area here near this uh i can't pronounce that that city right there ponce not too familiar with this area geographically but uh let's see here use faults are on there not for sure what plate boundary is out there either But uh, anyway, folks, um, I just wanted to give you guys a heads up on the large number of quakes out there uh, happening around the region, around the globe. Uh, pretty big deal. I want to see if I can bring it back seven days, 2.5 and above. And uh, that's pretty significant right there. And looking at this area, there looks like there may be more of a migration uh, now that I've added the last few days or so of earthquake activity. So, is your show over? No. I, <laughs> you want to go back outside? The uh, show is over, but well, I don't want to watch. Uh, a different one? Okay, yeah. hold on one second. Um, so anyway, folks, yeah, we'll end this earthquake video update. I just want to show you guys what's going on. A lot of big movement out there in Puerto Rico. And uh, we'll do a little bit further update video as we get on. I got my nephew here today, so we're going to spend a little bit of time with him. And hopefully he's nice to me, right? Are you going to be nice to me? Mm. Yeah. What? <laughs> All right, folks, uh, please stay safe out there. If anything big uh, happens out there, we'll provide a quick update. Um, just a lot of movement to, uh, to avoid that possibility of something more major happening out there. So, all right, I'm getting beat up by my, my four-year-old nephew right now. So we'll see you guys a little bit later. Stay safe out there.